Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in for another Market Outlook by Xness. My name is Andreas Evistocleus, trading specialist here at Xness, and in today's video we are going to be checking on a possible trading idea for the next few days, the narratives behind it and which economic data could potentially affect this trade. But before we proceed, let's check on the performance of last week's idea. Last week, the idea was for a long trade on crude oil with a target around the $88. The price has been moving in a bullish trend and is currently just below this level, which means that the overall idea was valid. Now for this week, we have with us Stanislav Bernikov, Senior Trading Specialist to provide the trading idea of this week. Hello Stan and thanks for being with us. Hello Andreas and thanks for having me today. So what are your thoughts for this week? Today on my list is Tesla stock. We rarely speak about the stock market, but this idea looks particularly promising. Yesterday, Tesla stock had jumped 10% from the opening bell, and let's figure out why this had happened. First of all, from a technical point of view, this is a classical breakout. Timing breakouts might be incredibly difficult, and the best moment to enter the breakout trade is before the breakout. Though there are still a couple of scenarios which might be used in trading. The first is to wait until the price fills the gap, and plummets towards the area between $255 and $259. After that, that might be some candlestick pattern or whatever other reversal pattern. Another scenario is quicker to get inside of the trade from the opening and to place a wide stop, which would be the 10% from the current price and approximately at around 246 level. Both ideas look forward for the intermediate term move and uh, Tesla might gain 15-20% from the current price. And what are the narratives behind this idea? Morgan Stanley had lifted the rating of Tesla from uh, equally weighted to overweighted, uh, lifting the price target towards $400. The reason for that was the Dojo supercomputer of Tesla, which employs artificial intelligence. As we know, this is a hot topic this year, so Tesla employs some AI technologies. Investors particularly like everything connected with AI today, and especially in application with Tesla. Guidance for earnings for Tesla are positive and are looking forward for the potential growth in the fourth quarter and in the first and the second quarter of 2024. So we might call Tesla a classical growth stock, uh, the one which produces the growth of EPS, earnings per share, consistently. Technological sector revives from the pullback in August and might get back in play, which we see from the related ETF called XLK. In general, S&P 500 index along with NASDAQ are holding well with the volatility holding at extremely low levels, which is a short-term bullish signal. So, in other words, bullish breakouts have a good chance of being supported. So, which economic data or events on the economic calendar should the traders pay attention to if they were to proceed with this trade? Among other publications, particularly important one is, of course, publication of inflation for the United States on Wednesday. Core inflation rate for the US is posed to decline towards 4.3% level, which is lower than the previous level. Should this number be tighter than anticipated, so expectations about the monetary policy may shift. For example, today market is pricing that the peak of uh, interest rate will be in March 2024, so in case inflation will be tighter, so uh, this date might shift to May or other months in 2024. So that might negatively affect cyclical assets, including stocks. So in summary, the trading idea for this week is a long position on Tesla with potential target around the 300 price area after a possible minor retracement around the 255 or 259 level. The main narrative is the lift in the rating of the Tesla stock by Morgan Stanley from equal weight to overweight. The revival of the technology sector ETF and the volatility index remaining in historically low levels. The economic data that could affect this trade are mainly the US inflation data and the probabilities of the Fed changing interest rates. Thank you, Stan, for providing the trading idea for this week. Thank you, Andres, for having me today. Good luck, everyone, and trade well. Remember, this is not a signal, it is just an idea for a trade. It's not a guarantee of success. Always do your own research and remember to manage risks. 